Amasango have been a client of ours for approximately the last four years. They have had an ongoing struggle with the Department of Education to get permanent facilities to build a proper school. Sure. Children, if there was no school like this in Grahamstown, they would be in the streets. Some of them would be dead by now. From sniffing glues, petrols, robbing people. But the school has helped to remove children from the streets and to give them education. We registered as a school for children with extrinsic barriers to learning, which means that they have developed barriers to learning due to psychosocial factors, such as extreme poverty, neglect, abuse. Children who've experienced violence as the only form of conflict resolution practiced grow up to practice violence as the only form of conflict resolution. So there is a lot of anger and violence in this school. We have about 120 learners at the moment, but the numbers can grow, uh, they fluctuate. The ages range from age seven to age 20. Chigi. Often children who go to the streets are quite bright. They are able to make a decision that says I can do better for, for myself than what I've been getting thus far. Chigi. Our learners come from the township and from difficult, very difficult backgrounds. Hi, Mr. They come to us in the office to to tell us about the problems at home. There is no food, nobody is taking care of them and they resort to wrong things. I started the bad things 2007. Smoke, using drugs, men wrecks. Drug abuse definitely compounds the behavioral problems. Children who are using drugs start from the age of 10. Our students who managed and pass grade 12 in high school and go to a university, we give them support even then because their home situation has not changed simply because they pass grade 7. The learners um, are overcrowded in the classrooms and no proper learning can take place in such conditions and that also affect the esteem of the children. People on the street, they are city school, they are saying no, the school is for street kids, you don't have um, respect here, you don't have uh, education, we are not good students, but I want to show them. I wish the department can build us a proper school. 
away from the railway station. What we are looking forward to is a school of our own, the school that can have all the facilities that we need because this is a special needs school and we think that we cannot channel all our learners to the academic side. We also want to introduce vocational subjects so that when they leave this school, they are employable so that they can become responsible citizens of our country. Because of the intervention of the LRC, we now have a library. Learners can go and read and the classrooms are, are spacious and we can now teach freely. Most of our learners are keen to learn, especially now that they see that there is an improvement in the school because they can see now that uh, they are being cared for. I'm going to time for class now. And I think you are doing a sterling job here to challenge the government. Yeah. It's a good thing. It's hard work. No, it's hard work, but continue doing the good work.